boys. Uh, I'm away out now to check that uh, Arctic here uh, snare, and uh, it's gonna be a great day look for Arctic here because uh, we got some fresh snow down. So all the tracks that we see are gonna be fresh. Oh, can't wait. We gotta get out there. <laughs> Now, yeah. neither uh, are you here, but it looks like my chin up stick is down. Or, that's sure. Now, yeah. can I see? I don't think it goes there. The one would have went under there, I don't know. He might have went under the snare. We had a uh, bit of snow last night, job to tell there, but I thought it was a, a fairly wouldn't that. I don't think it was there. I don't know. Look at that. I thought it was already here, but it was already fox. I'm just gonna walk up closer. Looking right at me. Already fox. That's what I might have went my duck under that snare there. Look. Just go ever so close. One step at a time. Wouldn't expect to see that. <laughs> Like a bit of dirt at the bottom of these jobs. Whether he's eating here or not, but oh, there he goes. not going too far that's the hole he was digging I'm gonna let him get back to it uh, I was gonna hunt around this place right here but but I think he's been well hunted <laughs> so just well for me to, to go on move to another area I'll let you have this spot there me buddy <laughs> look at that what a beautiful sighting gosh you never know what you're gonna see in the mornings fantastic look at that team I love days like this, I tell you. Well, I got that snare took up there now. Uh, I never got near Arctic here, but it was a pretty cool uh, Arctic Fox uh, encounter. <laughs> that made my day. I really enjoyed that. See, he's just hiding back at a hill or somewhere. And it's not even unlikely to see uh, <laughs> an Arctic here bolting there once. So, so I like the scene again. I do one more little look at it. <laughs> pretty, pretty quiet. Yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, I'm moseying on at this spot and let he hunt away here now. And uh, hopefully he finds something and hopefully I'll find something over here. <laughs> Tell you, with this uh, fresh snow down, it's a little more than I hope for because uh, you know, the Arctic here is they move uh, 
in the night time and then uh, and hold up and then feed during the day and uh, but you know if you only have a little bit of snow you get on your first track and you can pretty much find it where they went to but uh, we had that much snow that uh, uh, and it was kind of snowing until kind of like early in the morning that uh, the tracks is well covered up and now like this time they're not moving much and you fool around you're lucky enough you find one but and another thing is uh it's really hard on noise. <laughs> you have to see where you're going to. You gotta be careful because a lot of the cliffs and ledges and stuff you can go, go it over. So the plan was, you know, just to go check that early here set and uh, have an early here hunt. But I checked the set. Oh, I took it up because there was already fox there. But I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna head around over to Alevik Bay in Southbrook and do a bit of ice fishing. Is uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, you know, you gotta be really careful. Slow traveling. Look. You see there's a bank there, you don't know now if that's sloped down or there's a ledge there, so you really gotta be careful and go slow. I'm even show better on the camera, I don't know, but for me right now, uh, everything looks alike. And I know that the elevation is drops down there somewhat, so I don't know if it's like a slope or a cliff or what. There's no way to tell. Yeah, it's pretty, even with the goggles on, don't make any difference, so. So anyway, that's the plan. Uh, I guess uh, when you change plans sometimes, they don't always have to be bad or worse, they could be better. <laughs> a little bit of ice fishing in South Brook. Never nutting around with that, so so that's where I'm headed. So I'll take a few minutes to get over there and uh, yeah, see can we uh, catch a fish. And Levick is on in that way and uh, I think it's a good, I made a good choice. Starting to snow a little heavier, pretty much a wood out on over that way, you know, and uh, around here where there's not a lot of trees, like a lot of barren land, a lot of snow on it, uh, a lot of the aisles and everything, you know, it looks a lot of like, and if you lose your orientation, you know, uh, uh, well, it might take you a little while before you see a landmark again to really know where you're to, so, I was going to say, a GPS, you know, around here is, uh, is a wonderful thing, it sure gives you peace of mind, so we just have to go on in there to Big Bay in there, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a, a trout before too long, so, uh, yeah, no time to waste, gotta go. Well, just got the, the, the hook and hole here. Here's South Brook. I think I made a good choice. It's snowing even harder now. So, uh, the one's I'm going to make a phone call to uh, McCove to see what's going on. So, some kids races later on today, and I'm going to try to get back for that. Well, I am going to get back for that. But uh, it's snowing too hard to make it cancelled or something. So, I'll call and see what's on the go anyway. But uh, I'll have an hour or so here for sure. So, uh, hopefully, we'll get a, get a meal of fish. And we was here Thursday evening. I, I got eight out of this hole here. Uh, yesterday was Good Friday, so we never done nothing yesterday. We just had the cab and went over to Ben's Cove, roast some codfish and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll save the battery for now and uh, see how this works out. Well, look at that. Just, oh, my oh God. <laughs> I was just going to say, look what I hauled up, and then, uh, oh my, wicked, look at that, I just said, at the cam root, I said, look what I just hauled up and shoved the hook down again, and just like that. Well, just hauled up those two, and just look, I get another hook down there, the swivel, almost straight new on that one, so good thing I've seen that, I better put it down again, I'll, I'll last the next one for sure, so. So anyway, I gotta get some stuff straightened away here. There's definitely one there. Keep passing. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Just got that one with the Kinder Egg Barber. Beautiful trout. Look at that. Well, got a half a dozen there so far. Uh, don't take very long, you know. <laughs> Gosh, I wouldn't know more than uh, 10, 15 minutes yet, so. So anyway, it's going good. Hopefully we get a couple of more and I'll probably hit her back in anyway. Well, I hauled up two and 
So I get the camera root, and before I get the camera root, I haul up three more, but one was a bit small, so I'm gonna let this one go. Also, I was gonna say, you know, when I haul up those, those barbers there never move, and this hook is nowhere from them, but that's just the way it is sometimes. It's funny, you know, when you're trouting. fine morning here in Southbrook you know I was really disappointed uh, when we never got over here uh, during the Christmas holidays but you know the weather was pretty nasty and I saw you could do a bit of that but uh, I sure enjoyed it this morning and all I was using just plain hook you know and uh, a little lid there uh, I think it was a bit old dried partridge meat that was on and that was left from when I was over in Mulligan <laughs> And this one, and when I got the first one in, I just cut off. Well, actually, I was other hook because I straightened up my swivel. <laughs> but then uh, uh, I just got a piece of the, cut a little piece off the head there, and that's all I was using. So, so uh, you know, it was pretty simple, but uh, but uh, obviously it works good here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna hit her across now, and uh, uh, when I get over as far as big boy, I'm gonna call in the set phone, see what's going on with the sports, and if the sports day is still going ahead, I'll go on back. And if not, I may go for uh, a little Arctic hare hunt. So, uh, anyway, it was a great morning. You got to see an Arctic fox up close. Got a few trout. And the day is young. So, but uh, looking forward to watching the kids play some sports. But, you know, if it gets postponed or whatever, well, I'll make uh, I'll make the best of that downtime. <laughs> all right, guys. I really appreciate you all watching. And uh, all the best from the big land. This bit of... This bit of water there on the seat. If you got nothing else, just grab some snow. You know, that's much drier than this up here. Look. <laughs> 